Se ti cubo no agaba. Catuntu, is it Catuntu? That is the group now. The president alleged that a section of MPs received 15 billion shillings through a code, a civil society organization, to set up sensitization workshops in Chobe, Monyonyo, and the Hentebe hotels. The rules of procedure parliament provide that when the president is addressing MPs, the MPs must listen to him in silence. Because that article must be invoked by the president when he is coming to account to Ugandans, not to come and give a rebuttal. That's exactly what he was saying was false. We are not under any foreign interest. He knows it. And he knows it very well. MP Seyodo Thechikubo, Abudu Katuntu, Wilfred Niwagaba, Sam Otada and Joseph Sewungu cannot wait any longer. They have hit back at President Yori Museveni's statement against them. It is us, the people who was lambasting yesterday, who opened up this sector for discussion. He had closed himself in a room with his so-called scientists, the one he was talking about yesterday. They are the only one who knew what was going on in this industry. So the message of the president was very simple. There's nothing he was lying about. Did those retreats take place or not? All the funds that we get from our donors come through the bank. So I, I, can, be, I can say for certain that Bank of Uganda knows every, any amount of money that has come into a code. He's annoyed with us because we have gotten the sector from his sheriffs under his bed and the kitchen and where they were discussing these matters. Ruemiaga MP Theodore Sechukubo has also threatened to drag the Prime Minister Mama Mbabas to court. But what is the reason? Specifically mentioned my name. Sechukubo and his group received $700,000 from foreign interests. Well, I, I don't remember the statements I made against Sechukubo. I made a clear statement at a press conference about the debate on this oil and the money that has been coming in. However, the MPs have admitted that they are being funded by Accord and other organizations, but not to the tune as alleged by the president. I'm told Accord spent 1.5 billion shillings at Munyonyo in one of those seminars. I have told the IGG this before and I want to repeat it again. Please. Madam Irene, do not be used at any one point in time for political fights in this country. You see, if you clamor for transparency, you must also be transparent yourself. We called them back before their time was over for a paltry 560,000. You see, civil society organizations do not bribe MPs. Uh, when we organize workshops, we pay them transport refunds which every other agents of government actually does in most cases. So Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.